Hi YouTube, my name is Kim. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to model a simple basket. We are going to make it as simple as possible. So let's just get going. Um, escape to remove this and X to delete this default cube. Shift A, mesh, cylinder. And tap to go to edit mode. One on the number pad. But what we are going to do now is we are going to unwrap this um, cylinder onto a. Um, we are going to map an image to this cylinder. That is what I mean. Um, change from vertex select to face select down here. Select this topmost face and then X face. Now we have that. And then select um, the bottom one, press P selection. So right now this face is separated from this um, cylinder. Okay. And I like to work in. Um, Cycles render, so I'm going to change from blender render to cycles render and drag. Sorry, oh, you see, my cursor has been misplaced here. Just press um, shift C to center to, to, to send it back to the center. I'm going to drag this one out to show all the buttons. Go out of edit mode and select only this topmost part and select the material new surface the surface is diffused and the, the default color is white we are going to click on this little button here and select image Texture, open. I have my images in a folder on my desktop called test. Just click on that. Click top here to show the pictures or textures. This is the texture I'm going to use. And then open. Divide this window. Press T to hide the toolbar on both windows change this window to UV editor click here and select your texture and therefore let me zoom in for us to see it much better I'm going to press A to select everything sorry we, we, we need to unwrap this onto this so um, first you need to change from um, from face select to edge select and then select any one of this edge here press T to bring back the, the toolbar and then change to UVs and maxine Literally, I pressed Maxine. You could see there is a, a pink line there. That means it's going to start unwrapping from from that line. Make it easier to that makes it easier to to unwrap. And then go back. Mm. Let's press A to deselect everything. Press A again to select everything, and U unwrap. To see it has unwrapped it on to our basket and let me change from solid to texture s to scale and we have to rotate this one press r 90 enter then G to grab 
place it at the desired point and s to scale whilst you are watching the, the basket it to, to the desired um, size you want the texture to be s to scale and then drag out your mouse to get your desired I think this will do for me tap to go out of edit mode okay this is what we have so far you can see um, we have our texture only on this okay all right so right now we are going to change the shape of our basket let's get back into edit uh, edit mode and change it to vertex select one on the number pad then Z to go to wireframe mode A to deselect everything B to box select and select the the edge the down edge here the downward edge here and then S to scale it like this tap to go out of edit mode Z to go out of wireframe so we could we could now see um, our button is being let's just select our button and then delete it or we can scale it down to let we can scale it down to let, let's scale it down okay scale it to much you can go to you can press 7 to go to um, top view top orthographic view Z so that you can align it to the edge of um, our, bas our main basket um, S scale there you go And what we are going to do next is we are going to form the edge of the basket. So what we do is Z to go out of um let's align this properly. One on the number part, Z on and then drag it like just like that. Just like that. Okay. Z to get go out of um, wireframe mode. Shift A, mesh, and torus. Just add in a torus. Drag it upwards like that. And seven on the number pad. Go into edit mode. Alt S. Alt S. Alt S to shrink. Okay, you just drag your mouse in. Okay, this will do for me. And so go to wireframe mode by pressing Z. I think it's aligned and front view and just drag it onto the stick just like so and what I'm going to do now is go out of edit mode and then Z to go out of wireframe box select all of this and drag it to the top to align for the bottom to align with um this red line because when we add in a plane for the basket to sit on um the plane is going to be uh, on this red line x okay so let's add in a plane shift a plane 
mesh plane S to scale and then type 100 enter so far this is what we have let's give a preview render Ta -da. this is what we have a very beautiful and uh, realistic basket here doesn't, doesn't it look cool yeah and simple too let's just close this window drag it this way and to make it more realistic um, you have to put a bit of bump in there to make it more realistic because when we turn to texture and then you see it looks so to do that um, to put some a bit of bump in here I can go to um, change to compositing let me zoom in this side and shift uh, middle mouse click and then pan the view and change from solid to render on this side with the basket selected click on this button here to bring in the nodes drag this one out get it pave way for us to connect this two so you could see here um, immediately I connect the color to the diffuse on top of here uh, on top here we are going to see some changes here we're going to see a bit of bump here yeah there are so many ways of doing this but I think this is a simpler way so connect it this way and now there we go you could see there there is some bumps there's been a bit of bump onto uh, on the on the basket okay, and you can change this place you can give any texture to 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 your basket the tip but I, 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 I love it this way change back to default and now we have our basket here I'm going to save control s and name my basket basket enter okay save as plain well okay there we go the next thing we are going to do is to set our camera and at the bottom here you can also change um you can see it's is it's quite too and on this side the tip too we haven't set any material I, I I said I like it to be white and the bottom here this is a kind of basket and we can just select this one too and give it smooth shading see how it's going to look okay looks cool select the torus too smooth in the bottom here you can also give it a wooden texture uh, for me I just saw some kind of basket that looks very nice to me and this is how it looks so uh, this is how I'm going to leave mine you can go ahead and then add any texture to your tip and then the bottom so what is next um press zero on the number pad zoom in to this point and when we press zero we, you can see we are now in camera view camera perspective and press N to bring out this menu place in a checkbox here to lock camera to view so that we can turn the world 
inside that without turning the camera okay let's zoom in and then shift left um, middle mouse click hold them down and then pan the view okay so let's see what we have so far this is our preview render so what is next I'm going to set my render sample the output I'm going to render it out as a PNG file and then I'll change my sample here to my main render to 200 200 and our lamp tool is very very low we'll press 3 on the number pad drag um the lamp from this side and to the back of the camera and then select on the object data button here and click use notes and increase the strength of the lamp to um, 5000 Let's see what we have. This is a preview, so I'm going to go back to the main render. So, F12 to render this image out, and I'm going to pause this video until it finishes rendering. Yeah, okay, this is what we have here. We have our basket. So please, if this tutorial was very helpful to you, please subscribe and give your comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.